What's up everybody, Jesse Mails here at BackwaterFlyFishing.com. Today, I wanted to take the backwater vlog, kind of go in a little different direction. I know last time we talked about five different materials that I think you guys should be using. And I think I just wanted to get a little bit more in depth with specific materials on a few of these. And I want to talk about tarpon hooks today. Um, a lot of people go after tarpon all over the Caribbean, all over Florida, Mexico, and even down here where I'm at in Costa Rica. People are fishing for tarpon everywhere and we're fishing for different size fish and we're fishing for different fish in different situations, whether you're on the flats, you know, and they're migrating up the west coast, whether you're throwing off the beaches, whether you're literally just drifting through a river mouth or something like that. There's a lot of different scenarios that we find ourselves in and different hooks can help in different situations as well as different flies. So we'll cover some of those hooks that I like to use, really just four hooks that I use. There's probably a dozen out there that you could use, but I've kind of narrowed it down to these four hooks that I like to fish tarpon on, and here they are. Alright, so the number one hook I like to use is a Gamagatsu SL12. And I use this in a 2 aught and a 4 aught mostly. If I'm fishing really big fish, on bigger flies then I like to use the four eye. If I'm fishing um, maybe even bigger fish but I need a smaller minnow pattern or something that's going to look more natural then I drop it down and I fish the two hot. Um, and that works great for large large fish all the way to you know 30 40 pound fish so the SL12 very good hook it's a blue water hook but it has a wide gap and works fantastic for tarpon so if you haven't tried that I'd recommend trying that. Alright, now the other hook I like to use down here a lot and in situations where I need small flies is the SC-17. And this hook is fantastic for fishing big fish with small flies essentially. Um, down here in the rivers they push all this little bait up against the shores and slam it and this is a great little hook that's super strong and really sticky. So once this hook gets in there, typically it's not coming out. And it's a very thick, heavy gauge hook, so it's not gonna snap. Um, I've really, really enjoyed fishing these. And they're great for a number of other patterns too. I mean, if you're fishing offshore for tuna, it's a really good tuna hook in my opinion. But overall, I've pretty much stuck to using it for tarpon. Now another hook that comes into play a lot is the Daiichi 3111. And this is a great tarpon hook in different sizes. I use the one knot and the three knot. And it's really nice because it's offset. It's got a really nice point on it. And it seems to pierce into the tarpon's mouth very, very well, which is what I like. Um, what I don't like about the hook is it does rust really quick. So, you know, I know when we're tarpon fishing, we're not using, you know, you have a day on, on, a, on a tarpon fly and it's done because you're doling the hook or the hook's getting bent or broke or whatever. But these seem to be hooks that seem to rust really fast for me. And that's the only thing I have against them. But I think they hook fish really well. We've hooked a number of fish down here in lagoons with them. And it's super sticky, super good hook, nice wide gap. I'd highly recommend it. Now last but not least is probably a hook that a lot of people are using. Probably one of the most widely used saltwater hooks out there. And that's the Gamagatsu SC15. And I use this in essentially in 3 aught and in a one aught. And the one knot works really well. That's like the first hook I started using for catching baby tarpon in Florida. And it just evolved into a really great hook for redfish, for snook, for sea trout. It's got a wide gap. It pierces really well because it's thin. And the only issue is a lot of times with these hooks on the tarpon, probably just due to the mouth or, or the hardness of the mouth and all this. I've had them snap on me plenty of times. I know other people have too. But for some reason, that's never got me to shy away from it. Um, since it only happens a few times, I think that's kind of normal when you're tarpon fishing. So the SC15 in the one knot for small tarpon is unbeatable to me. Um, I use a three out a lot on the larger fish, but if I was do looking at anything over 100 pounds, I'd be going towards larger SC17s, or like I said at the beginning, the SL12s because I think those are more reliable on the bigger fish. However, 
The SC15 is phenomenal for baitfish flies, for toad flies, for bunny flies, deer hair flies. I mean, you name it, that hook for tarpon, in my opinion, is absolutely fantastic. So those are the four hooks I use, guys. Um, I like to keep it pretty simple, and those hooks have done a very good job for me over the years. Give them a try if you haven't tried some of them. I know some of them, uh, especially from Gamagatsu, are very widely known. But it's always a question that I get and that I hear people talk about, what's the best hook for tarpon, what's the best hook for tarpon? I think different scenarios are gonna present different opportunities to use different hooks. And these four seem to cover that full range for me. So that's enough said on that, guys. Thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a like. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed to the channel already. And we'll see you next time. Thanks a lot.